there, it's Lance with Love to Hate, back again with another solo playthrough video. This time we're going to be taking a look at Rescuing Robin Hood from Castillo Games. Rescuing Robin Hood is a cooperative deck building game in which you are going to be working together with the other players trying to rescue Robin Hood from the Sheriff of Nottingham. Rescuing Robin Hood is currently on Kickstarter right now as we speak, and the link to the Kickstarter campaign is in the description of the video down below. So after watching this video, please be sure to check out their campaign and go back this game. Right now, we are set up for a solo playthrough, and so let's go ahead and take an overhead look here. And I'm going to explain uh, certain things that you see here on the table. Some of this is compacted to save space to fit everything uh, on screen here. Uh, but as a solo uh, game, you are going to be controlling all the players that are trying to free Robin Hood over here. Robin Hood is up here on the top right, uh, and he is handcuffed by the Sheriff of Nottingham over here at Nottingham Castle. Uh, I will be playing two players here. I've got Maud Lindsay on this side, and uh, the four people in her caravan are listed right here. And on my right side, I have Will Scartlett, and his group is right here. And so uh, don't let that get you mixed up. This one's going to go vertical while this one's going to go horizontal, uh, and that's just to save space here. Uh, we have a group of villagers here that we are trying to rescue that we will, if we're able to rescue them, they will join our party and uh, our deck essentially. But in order for us to rescue them, we have to eliminate these guards, these rows of guards right here. And uh, the way we set this up is dependent upon this uh, setup card right here. Uh, Midnight Rescue. Uh, this card will guide us through the first two days, which are rounds, essentially. And you can see right here that we are going to have three rows. Uh, the first row is going to have three guards from the blue deck. Uh, the second row will have four guards from the blue deck. And the last row is going to have eight guards from the blue deck. Uh, and they are guarding a bronze uh, villager, a silver villager, and a gold villager. And you can think of these increasing in value, uh, their stats, what they will add to your deck when you gain them. And so how this game works, uh, we have four uh, villagers that start off in our party from our starting decks of eight cards each. And uh, we add up their stats and keep track of that here on our tracker card, in addition to any stats that we might have on our own characters, as well as any bonus stats that might be a part of the setup card. Uh, so there are four different types of stats. The blue stat is considered to be wit, and you can see that on this uh, ex explanation card right here. Uh, and what you use wit for is to outwit the guards. And essentially, you want to have a lot of wit, and you start with any row, but you start with the card furthest right. And every card that is furthest right in a row is going to be face up. And if you have more wit than that guard, then you will eliminate that uh, guard, subtracting whatever their defense was from however much wit you have. So for instance, I have seven, and this guard here has four, so I would have three left over. After I eliminate that guard, I set them to the side, and then I choose, do I want to continue going on, or do I want to stop? If I choose to continue going on, then I have to reveal the next card, and I have to hope that I have equal to or more than whatever their number is for the blue wit. If I am successful and uh, I have more or, or I have just the same amount as that guard, then I eliminate that guard as well and I make the choice again. Do I want to take on the next one? If at any time I don't have enough wit, then I bust essentially and uh, I have to bring back all of those guards back to that row and I, and I lose out on eliminating them. The stealth is the green stat. I, again, I add up all the stealth that I have, 
And the way that stealth works is, is I pick any cards in a row and I uh, simultaneously reveal any that are unrevealed that I have chosen. And I have to have more uh, stealth than all of those cards combined. If I'm successful, I remove all of the cards that I chose. If I am unsuccessful, then all those cards stay. Uh, the ones that I flip upright that are face down uh, would stay upright, and so I will know what their stats are from then on forward. The red stat is brawn, and uh, brawn is essentially I attack all the cards at once, all the cards in the row. And uh, so that's kind of a sh hard thing to do. Uh, you probably won't do that too often at the beginning of a round with the first player, uh, but you might with the second, or who, if you're playing with more players, the players that will go towards the end of the turn, because any brawn that you have left over will be passed to the next player. So currently this player right here, Maud Lindsay, has three brawn, and if she decides not to use them, then they will go to Will Scarlet. Uh, Scarlet, excuse me. Then you have yellow, which is jolliness, and jolliness is essentially a bonus to any of your other stats. Currently, Maud Lindsay has two jolliness, which she could spend to increase any one of her other stats uh, by two. And uh, jolliness is also a thing that you can pass on to the next player after you. There are also tokens to be had throughout the course of the game. There is scouting, which is the horse, and scouting can be spent to flip over any two cards, so that, that way you know what stats that card have on them. Cookery is the uh, pinkish purple uh, token here, which can be spent to increase two wit, two brawn, or two stealth. If you choose to hold on to it till the end of the round, you can flip it over and it becomes mead, which will essentially be the same thing except plus one to any stat. Uh, the reason why you might do that is because all your stats reset, you lose all your tokens, nothing carries over to the next day except for mead. Mead is the only thing you can carry over with you. The last token is prayer, and prayer can be used. Uh, you use one prayer to shift any guard card to a different position, either in the same line or a different line or you can spend two prayer to essentially remove a guard. And so that's how that works. Uh, the way around works is starting with the first player, you are going to choose to do two actions. Again, using your stats up here. Uh, before you do any actions, you could spend tokens. However, once you start an action, you cannot stop that action to use a token or jolliness for that matter. You have to choose to do those before you start your action. After you do two, then any brawn or jolliness left over will be passed over to the next player, and then that player will do two actions. And then, then after all players do their two actions, it is the end of the day. And if you have removed any of the guards in a row that are guarding one of the villagers, then that villager will be moved over to the uh, Oh, the forest. Uh, it has a name. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, Sherwood Forest. And uh, that's important because uh, you want to try to get as many of these over here in Sherwood, Sherwood Forest so that you can add them to your decks. Any guards that are left over or remaining will go to the castle uh, in which they will be protecting the Sheriff of Nottingham because at the end of four rounds, when you get to the fifth round, you are then going to storm the castle and try to take down the castle, as well as trying to rescue Robin Hood. If you successfully rescue Robin Hood, then you've won the game, but you get the opportunity to essentially go on to the bonus round where you try to take out the Sheriff of Nottingham and any guards that are left over. And if you're able to do that, then you truly win the game. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, Maud Lindsay here on my left is going to be the first player and she has a wit of seven in her starting group. She has stealth of 10 because we are gonna add three uh, to whatever our stealth is. That's what Midnight Rescue gives us these first two days. She has brawn of three and jolliness of two. I also have a scouting token and cookery uh, as what she gains each day. 
And so looking at these lines here, um, I think I'm going to spend the scouting token to reveal two cards. And I think I'm going to reveal them in this line right here. I have a lot of stealth and this guy right here does not have much stealth. While we're on this, blue, uh, blue soldiers here, uh, blue guards, excuse me, are the weaker of the kinds of guards. There are red cards, which are stronger, but blue cards essentially have stats ranging between one and six, the average being three. Uh, and that is on each of the individual stats there. The red ones have uh, stats ranging from two to nine with the average of being five. So that being said, I'm gonna flip over two of these cards and I'm just gonna pick the uh, first two here and I'm gonna flip them over in order. And we've got, as far as stealth goes, a one, a three, and a one. And I have 10, which is plenty to take out all of those guys there, that's five. And uh, this one right here could be a six. I would be in trouble if I didn't defeat him, but I feel pretty confident I'm gonna go ahead and choose all four of these cards to use with my stealth on. So I know I've got these three, let's see what this is. As long as it is not a six, I should be good. And it's a four, so I am definitely good there. I subtract what I've got here, which is a total of, what is that, nine? So I have one stealth left over and they are defeated. And we are gonna just set them over here off to the side. And Rosamund Thorns is rescued. She's gonna go over here into Sherwood Forest. Actually, we're gonna put her over here, off to this side. That's Sherwood Forest over there. I can do another attack. Um, I am going to, I'm going to use Wit here. And I think I'm gonna start down this line right here. And I am going to use my cookery to add two to my wit. Now I could use tokens on another player's turn, but that increases their stats if I do that. But I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that to increase my seven to a nine. And I'm gonna spend one here to get the sheriff's marksman. So he is out and I have spent one. So I'm down to eight. I reveal this one, it's a three. I'm gonna spend three to go down to five. And he is out. And I'm gonna go for at least one more. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's a six. So I busted because I only had five left over and he is a six. So these guys are gonna come back. That stinks. Uh, that was not what I wanted to have happen there. Those are my two turns, unfortunately. Uh, I am going to transfer over Brawn and Jolliness to Will Scarlet, and so he is going to gain uh, three Brawn to give him 10 Brawn there, and so we're gonna take that down to zero, and two Jolliness, which will move him up to six uh, as far as that goes. And so that's the end for Mod Lindsay. We'll go over to Will Scarlet, who also has one scouting token here. Uh, and we will might as well use that. And I am thinking that we will probably use them here on this row because this will show us the full row and what we are facing as far as that goes. Now, looking at this line here, there's a total of seven for wit, which we have seven. We could definitely defeat that there looks to be a total of 14 for stealth. That's quite a bit. We only have nine. We could use our jolliness and a total of 11 for brawn, which we have 10. We could use some jolliness. I think though the smart thing to do would be to use, hmm, the wit would definitely be successful. So I think we are gonna use the wit to outwit these guards. We'll use all seven, which is enough to defeat them all. And Dickory has joined us over here in Sherwood Forest. We can do one more attack. We have six jolliness to use, so we might as well use it to bring our uh, brawn. We're gonna do brawn, I suppose. 
Uh, hmm. Yeah. We'll do... Well, that's that's a risk in and of itself to do brawn. Might do stealth so that at least that way we could eliminate some. Because if you do brawn, you have to do the whole line. And that's really hard to do. I think we're going to increase stealth up six, which is going to make it 15. So we're going to move this to the five and that to the 10 here. And uh, let's see here. Well, we're going to use 10 right here, which leaves us five left over. Um, and I'm really just kind of taking a guess here. I could do these two for five and maybe pick two others. That might be an option. Let's do that. So I'm going to choose these two. And we're gonna just go with the two on the end here and see if we can't stay below 15. So this one is a four and this one is a two. All right, so we're successful. Uh, six plus five is 11 and that would leave us with four left over. So we definitely defeated them and that's good because uh, we wanted to try and get rid of some guards because these guards are going to go up here to protect the Sheriff of Nottingham. Unfortunately, uh, Hugh, Hugh Gigo, uh, Huge Ego <laughs> uh, is going to be imprisoned as well. He's gonna go up here with Robin Hood. And uh, we discard our four uh, that we have used this round, uh, and we will now use our other four. Okay, I almost forgot, uh, before we start the next round, we uh, do have to uh, assign the uh, villagers that we rescued and are over here in Sher Sherwood Forest, we have to put them in our party's decks real quick. And so for mod, um, I think we are going to, uh, we start with the first player and you can either take a one of these villagers or you can pass. And just because you pass once doesn't mean you're out. Uh, you can, it can come back around to you again. I think we are going to put Dickory in Mod's deck. And so then going over here to Will, that would leave Rosamund Thorns. Uh, we could put her with him or pass on him, but I think we are going to put her with him into his deck. All right, now we are ready to start the next round. Um, our stats reset, so we can go ahead and take these off the board. And the first player token will pass. And so Will Scarlet will go first. And let's see what he has. Frank Lemidier, Alice, Sybil Wright, Sybil Wright, and Galen. And so let's go ahead and add up our stats for him. Uh, we've got one, two, three wit, not very strong there. Two, four, six, eight, plus three gives us a total of 11 stealth. That's pretty good. One, two, three, six brawn. That's pretty good as well. And it looks to be one, two jolliness. We get one scouting, two scouting, and two prayer. So two scouting and two prayer. There we go. And let's see about Maud Lindsay. She's got Eunice Baxter, Hilda, Jeffrey, and Hilda Lord, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, let's go ahead and add up her stats. One, four, six for wit. Three plus three for stealth is six. Two brawn and two jolliness man not not looking too good on this end however we will get one two three cookery so that helps one two three scouting and one prayer it's a lot of tokens over here on this end and uh, looking back up here for our setup ca uh, card for this round, we need three guards from the blue deck here. We're going to flip over this card right here. Uh, and uh, they are going to be protecting a bronze villager. And Leticia 
is her name. And then we have four uh, protecting a silver villager who is Fernando. And I forgot, we are doing these vertical on this end to save space, so let me move these over. And uh, we have eight, so let me get that. Eight here. And they are protecting, or uh, watching guard over Cassandra Fletcher, uh, who has some really nice stats, so uh, as a gold villager there. All right, and we are ready to begin, starting with Will Scarlet. Um, and he's got a lot of tokens here. I think we're definitely going to want to use them. His stats are really nice as well, so it might be worth it for him to attack one of these harder ones here. Looking at the stats over here, um, both Fernando and Cassandra Fletcher have really good stats, but also Letitia's not bad. Um, has a total of eight with a cookery, that's pretty nice. A nine with a scouting and a 16 with a scouting. Um, you know, I think we're gonna, we're gonna try hard on Cassandra here. And so we're going to spend, I think we're gonna spend both scouting tokens to reveal four cards here on the bottom line. So we're going to take these four cards right here and we're going to flip them over one by one. There we go. And see what we're faced with. The, uh, the stealth's not looking too bad. Two, four, six, nine, 12. Uh, we have 11. And we could use one of our jolliness to increase us to take out all five of these right here, that, that's looking pretty good. Uh, you know what, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna use one point of jolliness to increase our stealth by one to bring it to 12. And just to do the math again here, two, four, six, nine, 12, we're going to take all five of these cards out using all of our stealth bringing us down to zero. Uh, very successful there. We got rid of five blue guards there. That was our first attack. Our second attack, uh, we do flip over this last card here and it's uh, five, five, and two. Now, what to do here? Um, hmm, well, this is only a two. I would have four left over if I did, if I did brawn. You know, I think what I'll do, I'll spend my last point of jolliness to increase this to seven, and I'm just gonna go down the line here trying to take them out with my brawn. I could spend my two prayer tokens, but I think I'm gonna hold off on those just yet. Hmm, or should I? Because Mod Lindsay does not have very good stats, she does have a lot of tokens. You know what, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna play it risky, and I'm gonna see what happens here. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I am going to spend both of them to get rid of one card here on this line. I'm gonna keep the two. The two's not looking too bad here. I'm gonna get rid of this middle card, and it was, oh, it was just a one. Oh, no. Well. Uh, as long as this isn't a six, I should be okay. Of course, last time I said that, it didn't work out so well. All right, I am spending two brawn to get rid of this Sheriff Swordsman. And I've got five left over. Let's see. It is a five. Holy cow. All right, so I barely survived, but I did eliminate all those guards. And I have rescued Cassandra Fletcher, uh, who's going to go over here into Sherwood Forest. And that is it for Will. It will go over here to Maud. And what will she do? Well, so we are definitely going to spend our scouting tokens and we can spend all of them to reveal all the cards. We have three to, that will reveal two apiece, so six cards total, and there are only five that we need to reveal here. So let's go ahead and reveal all of them. 
And let's see what we have now. Big numbers, it looks like. And on this line, we've got that there. We do have one prayer that we could use to move someone. And our best stats are wit and stealth. Our wit is a six. And right here we've got three, six, eight, nine. Hmm. We could move using the prayer. We could move one of these threes out of this line here so that we only have to take on the other three cards and our six uh, would be enough to defeat them. I think we're going to do that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to use the prayer, and I'm going to use it on this blue three because the green stealth... Or no, excuse me, I'm going to use it on this one because the green stealth is a two, which is better than three, and our other... Highest stat is stealth, which means we're, we're going to want low stealth up here to do. And so I'm going to pick that guy to move up there. And now we are going to do wit. Uh, and I don't need to use any jolliness because I have six and I only need six. So I'm going to take out all three of these guys. I would go one at a time down the line, but I can already see what they are. And so I am spending all six here to take out all six guards. And I have rescued Fernando. Very nice. All right. Okay, now I have stealth to use. And I've got two jolliness, plus I have some cookery that I could use. I'm going to definitely use the jolliness, and that will increase my six to an eight. I have eight, I need two, four, eight, uh, 11 total. And I am going to use one cookery to add two to my, uh, actually I'm gonna have to use two cookery to add four to get to a total of 12 stealth here and i'm going to use 11 of that 12 stealth to take out all of these people here so two four eight eleven i will have one stealth left over and i have successfully defeated these four guards rescuing leticia sending her to sherwood forest very nice I have one cookery left over. I am going to flip that over to mead so that I can use it for a future round. And now we will discard our uh, party to our discard pile here. And now it is time to uh, choose from Sherwood Forest someone to add to our par party, starting with Will. And, uh, you know, I think um, let's send Fernando over to him. Fernando has no stealth, and Will starts with stealth. And so we will give, for, uh, we'll, we'll put Fernando over here so that hopefully Mod can get some stealth. And we're going to put Cassandra in Mod's pile over here. And we'll go back to Will. And... Will seems to have really good cards. Mod has some weaker cards, so Will's gonna pass, and we'll put Letitia in uh, Mod Mod's deck. And so that is the end of round two. Okay, so we are ready to move on to day three, but uh, prior to doing that, we do need to uh, weed out some cards from our decks. So we have to... Uh, we have to be down to eight cards in our deck. And so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cards here. We need to be down to eight. And just looking at the stats here, um, hmm, I think, You know, Eunice gets us two cookery, but her stats are pathetic. 
Uh, same with uh, Hildelard here. Getting two scouting is nice, but again, those stats are not looking too good. I don't know that we want to keep them around. Um, there's two gone. I need to get rid of one more. And um, I'm thinking that we will probably have to say goodbye to... Uh, I think we're going to say goodbye to Gamalus, even though he does have one prayer, and that's our... Oh, no, Jeffrey has prayer. Um, yeah, we're going to say that uh, these three will go back over here. Uh, actually, uh, they are out, I believe. Let me double check the rules to see if they do go to Sherwood Forest or if they are just out of the game. Or no, they do go to Sherwood Forest. So we are going to put them in Sherwood Forest over here. And down to eight cards again. We're going to shuffle that up for Mod as we get ready for round three. Uh-oh. All right, good deal. And we will do the same here for Will's deck. He's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Uh, looking at his deck, so he's got much more powerful cards here. Um, well, we are definitely not going to get rid of these two. They're our best cards. And I am thinking, even though Alice gets us to prayer, that is our only prayer. Um, but I got to get rid of somebody, so I think I'm going to get rid of Alice. Need to get rid of one more. And... Huh. I, I'm thinking we're going to say goodbye to Frank Lemay Deer. Frankly, my dear. That's what that's the name there. Ah, <laughs> Frankly, my dear. Goodbye. All right, so we are down to eight on this deck as well. And we're going to go ahead and shuffle that up. And we are ready to go into round three. So round three says sleepy guards. All right. Uh, we are going to deal out three of the red cards. We're on to red cards now. We'll see how this works out. Again, the red cards range from two to nine with an average of five. They are protecting Jimmy Thalock. Jimmy Thalock. Jimmy the Lock. Uh, uh, some, uh, there's something there. I'm probably missing it. Uh, four blue cards. And uh, they are protecting a bronze villager. So let's get uh, Pantaleon out there. And uh, we've got 11 blue cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, I need one from my discard pile. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to shuffle our discard pile up real quick. And, oh, I should not have flipped that over. I didn't see it, I promise. We're going to put him at the end. And he is guard, they are guarding one silver Thomas Cooper and one gold Anastasia Forrester. There we go. And uh, we are ready to flip over our parties. However, we do get Sheriff's Men have negative one wit. There we go. Negative one wit. For Sheriff's Men. And uh, four cards. Mod Lindsay is going to get Dickory. Dot Yoris. Cassandra Fletcher. And uh, Wald, Wald Do Respect. Wald Do Respect. With all due respect. <laughs> all right. I'm loving these cards. All right. So adding up our stats here. We have four, nine, ten... Wit, 2, 12, 14, 18, Stealth, 2, 4, minus 1, uh, so 3, 5, Brawn, and 1, 3, Jolliness. 
We also will get one scouting, two scouting, and one cookery. We have our mead from the previous round. And so there we go for Mod Lindsay. All right, Will will get Warren, Sybil Wright, Galen, and Reginald. No, uh, none of the ones that he rescued from before. All right, so for Wit, one and three. So not much Wit. Uh, for Stealth, two, minus one, so one, three, five, seven. Seven Stealth. Brawn, three, four, seven, nine. Brawn, three, four, five, Jolliness and one scouting. All right, we are ready to go. So let's see, what should we do here? All right, um, Maud is gonna go first and she is looking really good on stealth. And stealth, we pick the cards that we want to use to attack. And um, there, is, there are so many cards in this line here. There's 11 cards. I think it makes most sense to use our stealth on those cards and maybe do wit on a different line. Maybe this line here, <clears throat> excuse me. I think we are gonna use our stealth, or I mean our uh, scouting. We're gonna use two scouting to flip over four cards. And I think we're also gonna use Will's. Will's gonna use his so we can flip over six cards. We're gonna flip over the first six cards here on this line. So let's see what we get when we flip these over. This is kind of hard to do. All right. There we go. And uh, now we know what we're facing as far as if we were to do uh, an attack. And we are gonna do stealth. I've got 18 to spend. I could do three, six, 10, 13, 15, 17. I would definitely get rid of all of those cards. We would have one, two, three, four, five cards left. I think, hey, that's, that's pretty good to do there. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna spend, well, hold on. I could do plus three using my jolliness, increase my stealth to 21. Let's see the math on that. Three, six, 10, 13, 15, 21. I think I like that more because this card's not too strong. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend my three jolliness to increase my uh, stealth to 21, from 18 to 21. And I'm gonna spend 21 points on these cards right here, uh, removing six guards out of this line and bringing me down to zero stealth. And uh, I have 10 wit that I could use, along with a cookery and a mead. I think I'm going to spend all of it because I really want to defeat this line here. I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to spend the mead to increase one and the cookery to increase another two, bringing me to 13 wit. Now, hopefully I didn't overspend here, but we will see in a minute. All right, we're gonna do this line right here. We're gonna spend two on this sheriff's marksman. Oh, they do also have negative one wit. I didn't think about that. You know what? I'm not going to spend that last cookery. I am, uh, I was at 13, I will be at 11. I'm not gonna spend the cookery. I'm gonna save it just in case Will needs it. I have 11 
and we're gonna subtract one wit from the sheriff's marksman here. And uh, the, all of the sheriff's men have negative one wit. Okay, so we're spending one, which brings us down to 10. Another, oh, this is zero, very nice. Ooh, five, so now we are at five, and I could run out here if I am not careful. Uh, one more, one more, one, all right. So now I'm down to four. As long as it's not a five or a six, or no, even if it is a five, I would be good. As long as it's not a six, Again, the famous saying, as long as it's not a six, we're gonna go for it. It's a three, which means it's a two. And so I spend my two of my last four to take care of him. And we have defeated the line and we have rescued Anastasia Forrester and Thomas Cooper. They will go over here to Sherwood Forest. And that's it for mod. We're gonna pass our remaining five brawn over to Will bringing him to a total of 14 brawn. And it is Will's turn. Will has two actions. We also have mods to cookery. And I am thinking that we should just brawn this line right here. Why not? Could be a maximum of six, so six, 12, 18, uh, 20, this is the most it could possibly be. I don't think we're gonna face 20 there, uh, but I think we're gonna spend mods cookery just in case to increase the brawn to 16, and let's just do it. We're gonna go down this line taking them out. We're gonna spend two there to take out the sheriff. We're going to spend four, bringing us down to 10, uh, three moves us to seven. We should be good. Yeah, we're good. We got this. And another three, uh, bringing us to four. We did it. We defeated that line, res rescuing, rescuing Pantaleon. And we still have one attack left to use. Our stealth is the next highest along with our jolliness. So we're gonna spend all five of our jolliness and that will increase our stealth to 12. We have 12, 12 stealth. We're gonna just try to take them all out, all three of them. Let's see what happens. We're gonna use two to bring us to 10. We're gonna use another two which means we have eight left over. And as long as this isn't a nine, we should be fine. And it's a eight. Oh my goodness. Barely survived. We barely made it, but we did. We defeated all the guards, which is fantastic because that's fewer that we have to face on the last round. And Jimmy the Lock, or uh, I'm not getting that one. Jimmy the Lock. Uh, goes over here into Sherwood Forest. That's the end of the day. It is time to add people to our party and we can add the ones that we removed from previously if we so choose to do so. However, um, we probably want these more valuable ones. And I think Mod is going to pick Anastasia Forrester to her party. This will go into her discard. So we're gonna put these guys right here as their discard. And then it will go to Will, and Will will probably take um, Thomas Cooper, perhaps, let's say. And next, over to Mod. Mod will take Jimmy Thalock. And Will will take Pantaleon. And that would be it. I don't think we want to add anyone else. We're both going to pass. And so these will just go back over here to Sherwood Forest. And now we are ready for day four. 
Uh, we will count up stats here first. We've got Jeffrey, Leticia, uh, Hilda, and Joan. All right, so counting up stats, we have three, six, eight wit, two, five, eight stealth, two, three, five brawn, and only one jolliness. Not very jolly crowd. We've got one, two scouting, one, two cookery, and one prayer. We'll pass the first player token over here to Will. Will's party, we're gonna have Rosamund Thorns, Yafam, Fernando, and Estrelda. And so Will will have four, seven, uh, 12, 14 wit, two, five, eight stealth, six, seven, nine, ten brawn, negative one, zero, two, jolliness. We'll get one, two, three scouting and nothing else. There we go. Uh, setting up our guards again, we've got three red guards here. And they are guarding, oh goodness, uh, or no, not that one. They're going to go here, actually. Uh, they are guarding Alrod Al or something. I, I don't know how to do that one. Some of these are really hard. Uh, then we've got four blue guards here. One, two, three, four blue guards. They are guarding... Zachariah, and then we've got 11 blue guards again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blue guards. They are guarding uh, Harold the Harlequin and uh, Faramon Cheeseman. All right, there you go. Let's see what happens here. All right, again, Sheriff's men have negative one wit, so wit is a strong one to go with this time. We do have lots of scouting tokens. I think it's our best interest to take this line out be to get double the villagers. So I think we're going to spend our three scouting to flip over six cards in this line here. Might as well do the top six. Uh, let's see, that is six right there. And so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Putting that guy back on top there. We could spend mods to scouting to flip over the other four. Uh, let's think about this though. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna flip over the last remaining four on this line and there we go. Now we know what all we're facing in uh, this bottom line here. Okay, uh, I think we definitely want to do wit, uh, and it's negative one. So we have 14, we could use two jolliness. Um, I'm thinking we probably will, being since wit is uh, our strongest one. So we're going to spend our two wit to bring us to 16. 
And let's go down the line. So we're going to do 4 minus 1 is 3. So we're at 13. Uh, 4. We're at 9. Another 4. We're at 5. 2. We're at 3. 1. We're at 2. And we're going to have to stop there because this is 3. And we only have two left to spend. And uh, hmm, maybe we should have used some cookery before we started this one. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. We eliminated five of the 11. So there are six left. We have one action left to do here. Uh, I have 10 brawn. We've got two, six, 11, 13, 14, 17, even if we spent two cookery to increase us by four, we would not have enough to do brawn. I have eight stealth I could use. Two, five, 11, 15, 19, 21. Ooh, that, those are big numbers there. Um... I could pray one of those people to a different line, this big guy right here. And I could use both of those to increase us to 14. What's that do for us? 2, 5, 9, 13. But there would still be one guy left. Goodness. Huh. Well... Shucks. Um, unfortunately, that might be still my best bet. So I, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to use stealth. I will use two cookery to increase my stealth from an 8 to a 12. And I'm going to use the prayer to take this guy out and we're going to put him up here. We're going to do that. And I am going to stealth attack. Let's see. Um, four, eight, 11. I can't do those three. I've got to leave one of them behind. Uh, let's say 2, 6, 10, 12. That might be the best bet. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave the three behind and take out these two right here. And that is my two actions there. So I have 10 brawn that I'm going to pass over to Maud. So Maud is going to, boom, she's got 15 brawn now. And she is a brawny person. Uh, we definitely want to try to get rid of this guy here, simply because there's only one of them. And uh, then we rescue these, these people. <clears throat> so we want to save brawn. I think we're going to brawn our way down this line here. Um, Wit, stealth, doesn't matter. We're just going to do stealth and stealthily take out this guy right here. Rescuing uh, Harold the Carlequin and Faramond Cheeseman. They are in Sherwood Forest. And now it is time for our second attack. And we're just going to brawn our way down this line here. See what happens. All right, this guy's a two, so that brings us to 13. Next one, oh, it's a six. Ah, uh, that brings us down to seven. That hurts big time. All right, no more of those, please. Four, uh-oh, this might be bad. Three or fewer, two. All right, man, we are getting lucky here. All right, we defeated all four of those, and we rescued Zachariah. 
and unfortunately we were not able to defeat this line here and uh, so we are going to have to place uh, these soldiers here in uh, protecting the sheriff of Nottingham and this guy here will be imprisoned with Robin Hood. All right, that was day four. So now we are going to prepare for day five by discarding our party and taking turns rescuing uh, people or adding them to our party here. Starting with Will. Uh, Will is definitely going to take uh, Faramon Cheeseman and then Maud will take uh, Harold the Harlequin and Will is going to take Zachariah and I think we're going to hold off on taking anybody else. And so now preparing for day five, storming the castle we have to discard down to our dream team of four cards, only four. These are the only four that you get, so choose wisely. All right, I have, what is this? A total of 11. I need to get rid of seven. Uh, picking my top four. Well, I'm definitely going to take my four golds, or my two golds, excuse me. So I have, looks to be a total of 10 wit, 19 stealth, that's nice, and two brawn. Uh, I would like to have some brawn and jolliness in that. Um, this guy right here has some jolliness, so we're gonna include him. And I need some wit, I mean some, uh, some brawn. And so I think we're gonna go with that guy there. That's going to be our dream team. Everyone else, see you later. Have fun over here in Sherwood Forest. All right, so Maud is ready to storm the castle. Let's see about Will. All right. Okay, again, only four cards to carry over. We're definitely gonna do Faramon Cheeseman. That's the best card Will has. Uh, I think we also ought to do Thomas Cooper, which is going to give us a total of six wit, nine stealth, eight brawn, and two jolliness. I am sort of liking, oh gosh. I am sort of liking Fernando, and I would like some stealth. Um, Estrelda's got our most stealth over here with three, but she doesn't provide too much else. Even though Rosamond has a negative jolliness, she does bring us a scouting. So I think I'm gonna go with her because she's got good brawn as well. And that's that. That's what we're gonna go with. And we are going to send all the other people to Sherwood Forest. There we go. All righty. Okay, so we are set up for the fifth day storming the castle. I moved some things around so that it would look better on frame here. Uh, so you guys could clearly see how the fifth round works because it is different from the previous four rounds. I have my uh, dream team here for Maud Lindsay as well as Will Scarlet, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get set up. Uh, we follow the uh, Storming the Castle card here, and in the first row, we are going to have six red guards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We do not flip over the last guard because we are going to put the castle there. And so we have to get through the castle. This is uh, uh, like the first line of defense, if you will. And then in the second line of defense are seven red cards. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do flip over the last one on this line here and uh, they are protecting Robin Hood and our two other villagers that we were not able to collect throughout the course of the game. And on our last line, we're gonna have six cards. Uh, again, I notated in, throughout the first four rounds that uh, the rules are updated and we do not place any guards that were left over at the end of a round we do not place them in this line protecting the sheriff that is a new rule change we just follow what is on the card so we have six up here and we flip over the last and there we go we are set up ready to go let's go ahead and get our stats ready so we are going to get 4 12 16 22 wit Ten, nineteen stealth, four, six brawn, and three, seven jolliness. We will also get one cookery and two scouting for Mod Lindsay. For Will. He is going to get 2, 6, 11, 15 wit, 2, 7, 11, 14 stealth, 5, 8, 10, 16 brawn, 1, 2, 4, and three jolliness. Uh, he'll also get one, two, three, four scouting. And two cookery. There we go. And uh, the Storming the Castle ca card here says band leaders gain plus three on jolliness. So we will add three to their jolliness, bringing Will to six and Mod Lindsay to ten. So there we go. All right. Um, now, in the last round, you do get to pick who is going to be the first player. And that is important because the, you have to attack these lines uh, from bottom to top. So we have to take care of this bottom line right here. And uh, unless you do a stealth attack and you pick some of these other cards, the first thing that you gotta take out is the castle, which the castle stats are 24, 24, and 24. Now the player who is able to defeat the castle is going to get a bonus. They will get one point of jolliness for every three cards that are in Sherwood Forest. So that's another reason for why you want to rescue as many villagers as you can. And I have 20 cards here, and so that will give me uh, a total of six jolliness if I defeat the castle. If I rescue Robin Hood, Robin Hood will get to join me. I flip over his card and he's got a sword ready there and uh, I can use the stats there. So, all right, let's get to it. Um, I think Mod here is much closer to being over 24 on any one of the two, uh, on any one of the three stats. And it makes more sense for Mod to go first. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Mod go first. And she has 22 wit, needing two more to take out the castle. Uh, let me think about this. 
I think we're going to use our cookery to increase that to 24. And we're going to take out the castle, one, one an attack. So we're going to bring the wit down to zero, taking out the castle. And that will give us uh, the jolliness from the people in Sherwood Forest. So that brings our jolliness from 10 to 16. And I will flip this guy over here. And I think for the next one, we are going to spend three scout tokens to flip over a total of six cards. I'm going to flip over every card in this line here. And I will get to do one card elsewhere. I think we'll just do this one right here and see what we've got here, what we are able to do. I have 19 stealth. Let's see here, eight, 12, 16, 25, 29. And uh, that would make that uh, 37. Okay, so I am going to need to use all my jolliness and I'm going to have to use some cookery. But I, I have to do it. It's the only way that I'm going to be able to do this. So I'm going to use uh, one cookery here to raise my stealth up to 21. And I will use all of my jolliness to get us to 37. And that 37 is enough stealth to take out this whole line here. And that is it for Mod. Mod was able to take out the first line. We'll see what Will is able to do here on his turn. He's got two actions. Um, we are going to spend all of our scout tokens so we can flip over six cards. We had three of them. Uh, we are going to do the five here for sure. So there's one, two, three four, five, and one up here. There we go. Oh, I will get to pass along six brawn to Will, bringing him to 22. So there we go. And let's see, I've got a cookery to use which can add two to something here. And I have six jolliness. And if I can get Robin Hood, I will get his stats. I'd like to do that in one attack so that I would have one attack left to maybe take out the sheriff. And my brawn is my best bet, it looks like. I've got 22, possibly 28, and another two. I've got 30 to use here. Let's see, six. 13, 22, uh, 26, 30, 40. I'm not going to have enough. I'm going to be 10 shy, so that's not going to work. My next best is wit at 15. And I could raise that up to 21, 23. So let's see about that. 11, uh, 13, 22, 29. Yeah, this isn't going to work either. Hmm. I don't know. I've got 14 stealth. Can raise that up to 22. A total of 22. 2, 6, 9, 12, 17, 23, 28. At least that was somewhat close. Um, shoot. Well, I don't think I can do it all in one attack, which is disappointing, but um, we're going to make a go of it, and we are going to, we are going to add our cookery, 
to our wit and our jolliness as well. And that will raise it to 23. And we'll, we'll give it a go. So 6, 11, 13, 22. Okay, which brings it down to one point there. And we now will brawn our way through the rest. Uh, so four, six, 14. And that leaves us with plenty of uh, brawn left over. And we rescued Robin Hood. We would get Robin Hood's stats here. Um, not that that really matters too much because we're out of attacks. And so we're going to raise these up just for the fun of it. And there we go. All right, so ran out of attacks, uh, rescued Robin Hood, which is a good thing, unable to take care of the sheriff. But hey, you know what? That's all right. The, uh, the game is called Rescuing Robin Hood, which is what we did. We rescued Robin Hood. We just did not take out the sheriff. All right, well, let's go back up top and uh, we'll close this video out. All right, so there you go. That was rescuing, rescuing Robin Hood um, from Castillo Games. Uh, I forgot to show you what the uh, rescued Robin Hood looks like there uh, with his sword out ready to take on the Sheriff of Nottingham. So there you go. All right, uh, again, this is running on Kickstarter right now as we speak. The link to the Kickstarter campaign is down there in the description of the video, so be sure to check that out and go back this game. A really cool game. Um, one that you can solo, obviously, as I just showed you guys, but one that you can play up to five people, and it is a lot of fun. So go check that out. We will be doing a preview video with Sam, my wife, who is a non-gamer. And so we're going to get her thoughts on this game and see what she thinks as if this is a game that works well with non-gamers out there. One that you might be able to play with your spouses or friends who generally don't like to get to the table to play board games all too often. All right, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, but for right now, I'm Lance. This is Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.